Give me a dime. Give me something. Yeah, I heard that too. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Long time no see. You don't look so well, friend. You okay? No, not really. <coughs> oh, that's too bad, buddy. They told me I was dying. Only I never did. You ever die, friend? Well, no. Of course not. Of course you didn't. But, well, we're all gonna die. I guess so. I'm sorry I always say dumb things. I'm a dumb fella. You're smart, and you're dying, and I'm dumb, and I ain't died yet, and, well, here's the thing. I never was in the army, friend. I told folk I was, but I lied. And I don't know why I did. And now I feel better. But, well, here's another thing. You, well, you've always been, or you've mostly been nice to me. At least you spoke to me. And now you're dying. And I'm real sad. Real sad. Sure ain't fair. Ain't fair at all. I'll miss you, friend. You're a good man. Here. Yeah. Take more than that, boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Idiot! Whoa, it's okay, boy. Easy.
Hey, move it! Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out. And he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me 
and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. <laughs> the law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Dinsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No boys! Ah! Oh shit! Pinkertons! What the hell have you done, Dutch? I want that back! Oh. Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here!
take the horses from that coach! Let's go! Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Shoot it! Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Time to go, boy. Yeah.
how you go. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Yep, she's laying a good trail. Okay, sure. Good luck. Yep. Hamish, Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. <laughs> the great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on, now, Tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. <laughs> ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, Hamish! Amos! God damn! He's bigger than I remember. Stay there! I'm throwing out to you! Real quick! Bastard just bumped me! <laughs> Over here! Hey! Come on up here! Lost anything? Uh, uh, just my rod. Uh, 
would have gotten my toes, too, if they weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. I think... I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Reel it in. Stand steady. Don't let him pull you. Bring it in now. It's a clever one. Let's try again. I think we found him. Cast again. Just a bit faster now. Sorry for. You caught him. Let's row back. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. Yep. 
Yeah. Make that muggy your scarce before way. I make it even uglier. There. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. 
You make it look so easy. All right. You try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. What can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh, what a gentleman. Are you going to clean the dishes for me? It's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> it was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. <laughs> then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. <laughs> but I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <clears throat> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for this. <coughs> I think it's, it's best if I, if I make... <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. 
There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. <laughs> These here are city folk. Something's up. We got a scr- Okay, fella. Yep. Nice and easy.
gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking the about? Demons, heavens by the throat, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness, it's, it's everywhere. The, he was right. What are you talking about? They come in Help! darkness. Help! They're coming. Stay inside. Keep your door shut. Relax. Damn, ma'am. Oh, no. That's way it goes, boy. Ma'am, safe now. See if there's any more of them. Oh, thank you, brother. Oh. Shit, there's more, all right. Stay calm there. Get off him! Never let He's got Kane. He's got Brother Kane. Where? Over there. All right. I'll handle this. Come on! You two, back to the village. I'll kick these dogs at bay. Crazy. Hey, nice. Get yourselves home. No, no, no. He said, he said they would come in many forms. <laughs> and, he, and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? It's just sick dogs. Uh, hydrophobia or some other poison. He said we were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, mister. Then get yourself a gun and kill any sick animals you see. Life will be just the fine. Darkness has come for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was right. Who was right? I was. I shall save them. And who are you? There will be no more. Four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. <laughs> I just saved them, and it weren't no curse. It's just sick dog. Dark charms. Possess the woods, I told you. Oh, he, he, did. he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That? Don't touch he it. He found the curse! Oh, found it. So? The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. Oh, the curse. Curse. Oh. Yet the woods are also full of demons. Oh. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? He never lied to me. Oh. Mm. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So... You're saying if someone destroys those charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. Oh, I can see that. It's impossible. Yeah, there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come. And he would help. And he would laugh. You, you told us. Look out!
Remember me? I help with those dogs. I've been seeing about this curse of yours. Welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those charms out in the woods, they all been broken. All of them? So I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle! We're saved! <laughs> the darkness lifted! Not saved. Huh? Cursed. Huh? He broke the charm. Spirits are set loose. We're, we're, we're doomed then? Hold on. You said the charms was protecting the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. Right now, I, 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 need, I need some light here now. I, yeah, I don't know what to think. Hey, look uh, at me. Yeah? I think something's going on in this holler. It ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this fella don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie and dissemble. Something's up. And this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas he didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift. My ancestor. I got a gift right here. I'm going to commune with the spirit. Dark. Dark omens! Dark spirits! What is he hiding? He, he, he always spoke truthful to us. There, there is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll take a look at that dig. See if I can see something. Uh, right. This is the dig.
There. I see you over there. The game's up. There's poison in this mine. God damn you! I'm getting out of here! <coughs> Who's this running off heading, huh? I told you I would save you. Yes. And yes. I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes, show us the light. I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey. Uh, I, I hereby will release with Absali and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh! Oh, you're back! We thought the curse had got you. Nope, he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. I was down that old dig and I found this, leaking all the way into the lake. You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. Well, let him tell you then. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? Oh, then you won't mind taking oh, a drink. Hey, no. hey, hey, hey! No, hey, please, hey! No! no. 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 Oh, you've killed me. I'm poisoned. It's poison now, is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, the dig. 
how they found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to uh, get you all to go. Uh, now you heard it. It's taken me. Uh, oh. oh, dear. Uh, dear God. There's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. Uh, it's cursed? <laughs> what are you talking about? Powerful forces have taken on this town. It ain't oh, spirits. Yes. It's some mining company. No, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters, we got some praying to do. Yes. Yes. Don't pray. Do something. You'll die. Or you worse. Just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money. They ain't just take it if you want it. Trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. Uh, bullshit, you was. I hope you move fancy boots. Unlike you, I'm. I'm. Uh, 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 play along. How's he, bastards? Just wait up a second. Let's make that messy past go away right here. Drink so day, march from same shape, sir. What is it? Yeah, thanks.
Welcome, sir. Welcome. First time. Sure. Let's take a look, then. Whatever you found this is your business, not mine. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah, okay, I'll have that. Hmm, don't need to know where you got this. Just came across this somewhere, huh? Real good doing business with you. Uh-huh. Thanks for coming. Ah, there he is, old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because mm. it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Have fun, boys. Micah says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now, with the Pinkertons breathing down our necks, 
Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton Patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So you was just talking about something? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Come from that way, down from Annisburg. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs> See if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drunk playing. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Ah, oh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, 
That was close. Don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge? This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. Whoa! So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Never listen to me. 
like talking to a goddamn wall. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more, okay? Would you rather go back to thieving? Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it caves in again? <sighs> well, I told you a hundred times already. It'll get better. Yeah, yeah sure. Ain't Welcome back, sir. What can I help you with? You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. How would you feel about a new stock on this one? I could make one for you. That's more like it. You'll see an immediate improvement. Don't mean to offend, but you look like you could use a bath. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow. It will do you good to hear people. Right now. Fellas broke through. One idiot was shooting all over the place. The world is happening in this place. You need someone to take over for you? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Thanks. Sure, sure. I'll leave you in peace.